Hello, in this problem we are going to find the limit as x approaches negative infinity of x over the square root of x squared plus 4. So to do this, we are going to do it two different ways. So solution one, we're going to use intuition. I'm just going to go ahead and write this down. So this is x over the square root of x squared plus 4. So when x is approaching negative infinity, x squared is going to be positive and really, really huge. So the 4 doesn't really matter. So this is approximately equal to x over the square root of x squared, because we can drop the 4. Now, the square root of x squared is actually something that we need to know. It's the absolute value of x, and that's a piecewise function. So that's x. If x is greater than or equal to 0, and it's minus x if x is less than 0. So in this particular problem, since x is approaching negative infinity, that means that x is less than 0. So that means that the square root of x squared, which is the absolute value of x, we use this condition here, it's equal to negative x. So this here is actually equal to x over negative x. These cancel and you just get negative 1, and that's going to be the limit. So that's really the key right here. This is the key to doing this problem. Let me show you another way to do it, solution two. Perhaps a better way to do it, a better way to show work is the following. So we take the limit. As x approaches negative infinity of x over the square root of x squared plus four. So we can do this using this same idea, but we can be a little bit more precise with our work here. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to basically multiply by one in a clever way. So here, I'm going to multiply by 1 over negative x. And then here, I'm going to multiply by 1 over the square root of x squared. Realize that these are the same, because the square root of x squared is equal to negative x by what's written here. So this becomes the limit. As x approaches negative infinity, x over negative x is negative 1. And then here, we can combine these. Well, I'll, I'll write it like this first, and I'll combine them later. Okay, so now this is equal to the limit as x approaches negative infinity of negative 1 over, you can write that under the same square root now, this is x squared plus 4 over x squared. And now you can break this up uh, into a sum. So this is the limit as x approaches negative infinity of negative 1 over, so it's x squared over x squared, it's going to be 1 plus 4 over x squared. And now we can see that as x approaches negative infinity, this piece here is going to approach zero because the bottom is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So now we drop the limit sign. So it's negative one over the square root of one plus zero. So it's negative one over the square root of one, which is negative one over one, which is just negative one. So two different ways to do the same problem. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.